But we all gotta stay off that cocaine, goddamn. <laughs> and see a motherfucker come out the bathroom backstage, has some coke right here. You gotta leave that coke alone. That cocaine is 99 and no. That shit fuck my pops up. My pops you should use heroin. <laughs> Motherfuckers be believed in cocaine, what? How you think they built the pyramids? Cocaine been around since the Egyptian days. Motherfuckers talking about, it's a mystery how the pyramids was not, that was that cocaine. <laughs> you ever see a motherfucker going coke? He could carry a building, motherfucker be strong. <laughs> You can always tell when a motherfucker using cocaine. Cause the motherfucker, they all do this one thing. In the middle of a sentence, they all go. <laughs> <laughs> had an uncle like that, man. Cocaine destroyed this motherfucker's life. Cause he had went to Vietnam. And he got his leg blowed off. See, black baby, my grandmother, didn't never, she ain't never said blown off. She said blowed off. <laughs> Every Thanksgiving, he come over to the house. And everybody in the family hated this motherfucker because he blamed everybody for that one leg. Every Thanksgiving, he come over and make everybody feel bad about that one leg that was blown off. We see that motherfucker get out the car, we wouldn't even go down and help him. We just call him Negative Ass Jimmy. Uh-oh, here comes everybody looking out the window. Here comes Negative Ass Jimmy. Nobody wouldn't even go downstairs to help him get out the car. He had to pull that, that wheelchair out by itself. He had them black wheelchair gloves that was cut off at the knuckles. He used to beat his dick with them gloves and break skin. Nobody wouldn't even help him up the stairs. He had to get out the chair and climb each stairs with his ass cheek dragging the chair. Fuck negative ass Jimmy. Glad his leg was blowed off. Vietnam was what, 30 years ago? He still blamed everybody for that leg being missing. And he got pride, so he refused to put his prosthetic on. He come over, he want everybody to see that nub. You look. Nobody wanted to touch that cold nub. He come in the house, everybody get quiet. Nobody said nothing to him. He hate the family too. He got a grudge against all of us. Cause he playing the wheelchair basketball tournament. Nobody ever went to his games. <laughs> Motherfucker got 40 trophies in his house. Motherfucker in the wheelchair on one wheel with the ball like this. And one of my little cousins says something gross to him, said, Uncle Jimmy, wheelchair pillow stink. His wheelchair pillow stink. He always got something negative to say about one of my female cousins, cause she got a lot of kids and she young. But bitch kept her leg closed, she wouldn't have all them goddamn babies. She jump up, fuck him daddy, fuck him. I'm glad your fucking leg was blown off. And if I ask you coming to Thanksgiving, every fucking year you come here and say something negative, negative ass motherfucker. My grandmother come out her room with her wig all crooked. That's her child. And she still referred to him as a child. He 48. She said, God damn it, what's going on in this damn house? All oh, y'all saying something about Jimmy. But his leg was blown off. For you. She sound like Morgan Freeman and, and Glory. For you, fool. I know, cause I dig the grave. His leg was blown off. And she had big titties, like they was 44 double D's. Black dress socks on. This child's leg was blown off. Who gonna cry for him? Who's gonna cry for him? His leg was blown off. Cause she's a mixture of like Mahalia Jackson and Raisin in the Sun. 
So when she say the word Vietnam, she say it with pride. His leg was blew off in Vietnam. She never just say Vietnam. She said Vietnam. Then one of her titties pop out with the dark brown nipple. Everybody start crying because grandma cried. So they go give Jimmy a kiss. Then the party start. Hopefully we start drinking Smirnoff. Everybody start around 12 o'clock. Everybody start doing the electric slide. You always got that nasty aunt that get hot and drunk, take her shirt off, and she got the nasty C-section scar right here. Smell like fish right here in this area. <laughs> her, her crazy, her, her crazy husband Sam dancing in that one area. Nobody go to their house because they think he crazy. You go to their house and knock on the door. That motherfucker on the other side, he knock back. <laughs> Got that one uncle that's a junkie. This motherfucker, every year, every Thanksgiving, he always nodding out. He shoot that dope, go in the bathroom for like an hour, tie that rubber band up, get his shit together, burning the spoon in the bathroom on top of the toilet. But you never know it. But the motherfuckers, the motherfuckers that do heroin, they nod out anywhere. The motherfuckers be looking normal as a motherfucker partying. Then like that, motherfucker be nodding. His jaw looked like a cash register. <laughs> uh, I told that motherfucker, Ricky, I told Ricky, I, I ain't even said nothing to the motherfucker. I, you know, nigga came up on me, I was, about, <laughs> yeah, I was about to hurt that motherfucker. He ain't want no parts of me. Nigga don't want no parts of me, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm cool in the fan, baby. Me and my brother used to laugh, man. My father nod out, we take bets. This motherfucker gonna hit the ground this time. No, he ain't, that motherfucker got balance. <laughs> Them motherfuckers go down to the ground when the shit is good. My brother be in the corner. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker, he going, going down. Get good to motherfucking come back up. Go backwards. <laughs> but it be them crackhead motherfuckers. Those are low life motherfuckers right there. Cause if a guy that shoots junk in his arm, if he steals your stuff, you're never gonna see your property or them ever again. And I know I'm hitting the nerve right here, but we can laugh about it. Cause everybody got that crackhead in their family, and when they come over, every, all the females be like, where my purse? Get my pocketbook, he ain't gonna get me again. 
He ain't gonna get me again. He got me for $400 last year. When a crackhead steal your shit, they like to fuck with your intelligence. A crackhead steal your shit and didn't help you look for it, did he? <laughs> it's bad in New York. In Harlem, the motherfuckers be cracked out. I seen a motherfucker the other morning, four o'clock in the morning, trying to, trying to sell a fire escape. <laughs> they had the whole ladder and all that shit in a push cart. <laughs> How you steal a fire escape, motherfucker? 